Today's video is going to demonstrate the target ID numbers on U.S. coins. To start with, peace dollar. 35. Next is a candy half dollar. 33. I don't have any silver halves, so I can't use that. Going forward, regular quarter. 29. Now notice what happens here. The silver quarter. 31. Walking Liberty Quarter. 30. Barber Quarter. 28. Moving forward. Clad Roosevelt Dime. 25. And what I'm doing here on the air test, I'm keeping, trying to keep the coin approximately 8 inches from the coil. Mercury dime. Barber dime. Seated dime. Finally, a seated half dime. And I want to go back to this seated dime. I was getting a different group of numbers. I think what I was doing, I was not keeping the coin uh, consistently the same distance from the coil. There we go. Next is a regular Jefferson nickel. Thirteen. I've had several questions in regards to the silver nickels, and I've got some silver silver nickels that I've actually dug, and some just I've found over the years. I'm gonna go through, and I've got four different dates. Thirteen. Another one here is wore a little bit more. Still 13. This one was wore just a little bit more. Still 13. Next is a is one I dug. This one's pitted. It's got some pits or corrosion on on the nickel itself. 13. And finally, a buffalo nickel. Some call it an Indian head nickel. Thirteen. Moving on. Regular copper memorial penny. Twenty-five. Weak penny. And here is a Indian head penny that I actually dug out of the ground. Nineteen. I thought it real neat to test something that I had never actually checked with a detector. Is a forty-three steel penny. I want you to see what it actually ID. Iron. Quite fitting since it's a steel penny. Now, what I would like to recap and make a final statement is the fact that I've had this Equinox for two years. Over the years, I've I've had many, many different detectors. Some would give a good, consistent ID in the air, but then in the ground, when you get past four or five inches, 
I, ID would be anything. But I can also say that for me, in the Virginia ground where I hunt, I get a constant ID that is identical to the air test, ranging anywhere from 6 inches to 8 inches deep in the ground in Virginia. But I hope, uh, hope this meets some questions that I've had about silver and coin target IDs. And hope uh, everybody has a great day.